class today i am going to take your lesson number 3 in ebs the name of the lesson is air we breathe you all know what is air right now before proceeding to our lesson we are going to see they have given us a little poem on the air read this poem about the wind wind means also air who has seen the wind the name of the poem is who has seen the wind who has seen the wind neither i nor you means you have also not seen the air and i am i have also not seen the air but when the leaves hang trembling the wind is passing through who has seen the wind neither you nor i but when the trees bow down their heads the wind is passing by means see here you can see in this picture the trees are bow down bow down means see they have little bend yes means the air is passing means the wind is passing right and who has written this poem christina rosetti christina rosetti see you can see when you uh, when you play with the kite yes what kite needs air if air is not there can you tell me that a kite will fly high yes it will not fly high right because kite needs air okay now see here what they are asking can you see the wind how do you know it's blowing can you see the wind yes have you seen the air i have not seen air have you seen no then how do you know it's blowing have you come to know that it it's blowing because we, we can feel it the air we can feel it yes now in this lesson what we are going to see air around us uses of air what are the uses of air and keeping air clean how we can keep the air clean now air around us first air is made of different gases air is made up of different gases we cannot see air but we can feel it yes we cannot see air but we can feel it now when the air passes through our body our body feels air right you can see when a uh, when we on the fan yes we feel the air right we cannot see it but we can feel it now take an empty glass bottle they have telling us to do one experiment you can also do it at home take an empty glass of water turn it upside down see like this this is empty empty glass empty glass of bottle and turn upside down like this now dip the open mouth of the bottle into a bucket filled with water as shown here you have to dip like this only without the cap of the bottle okay does water enter the bottle can you see water is entering in the bottle no now tilt the bottle slightly you will see and here bubbles coming out of the bottle now what they are saying tilt tilt means in a slanting position see in this picture you can see here they have directly they had put the upside down and in a straight way but here they had put the bottle in a slanting position and you can see the bubbles can you guess what is in the bubble can you guess yes you are right it is air that was present in the bottle why in this bottle water is not entering because it was filled with air the bottle was not empty in fact it was filled completely with air even when you turned it upside down water could not enter the bottle see in this position bottle is full of air that's why the water is not entering in the bottle when the bottle was pushed straight face down as there was no space for the air inside to escape when the bottle is pushed down straight there was no space for the water to go inside yes and there is no space for the air to escape means come out of the bottle when the bottle was tilted like this when the bottle was tilted the air was able to escape out of the form of bubbles all these bubbles are air they are coming out and the watering water is entering 
Bubbles and water filled up the empty space by the air has occupied. Now air is coming out and water is going in. And did you know students, we breathe in and out 20,000 times a day. In a full day, how much we breathe in and breathe out? 20,000 times. Now students, see, we need air. We need air. We all need air. Yes. All plants and animals need air. What they are saying, all plants and animals also need air. Plants and animals take in air. We also need air to make fire. What they are saying, plants and animals take in the air and we also need air to make fire. Without air, we cannot make a fire. If you cover a burning candle with a glass, the candle burns for some time, then the flame goes off. What they are saying, if you are burning a candle and on that candle, if you put a glass, the candle will burn for some time. It will burn, but it will burn for some time and then automatically the flame will go off because that candle also need air to burn. That fire also need air. Okay. This happens because the candle needs air to burn. When the glass covers the candle, air does not reach the flame. When you cover the candle with a glass, the air does not reach the candle, right? And does not reach to the flame. So, the candle does not burn anymore. If the candle can hear what they are saying, candle also need, that fire also need a air to burn continuously. If air will not get, what happened? The flame will go off. When you put the glass on that candle, the air will not pass inside, right? So, the candle will go off. Okay, students. Now, the candle's flame will go off. Now, keeping air clean. How we can keep the air clean? How we can keep air clean now? See, we need air to live. Yes, we all need air to live, right? We must keep it clean. So, we must keep it clean. Here are some ways in which we can help keep the air clean. Yeah, they have given some ways. By following this, we can keep our air clean. See the first one, get a vehicle checked if they give out too much smoke. What they are saying means vehicles. Get a vehicles checked if they give out too much smoke. Smoke means the grey and white, grey white or black gas that can you see in the air when something is burning. When something burns that smoke is coming out. Yes, that smoke only. So we should keep our vehicles on in a proper condition so that they they will not throw a bad smoke if they, if they are throwing bad smoke means it is polluting our air build factories far away from residential areas they are saying factories should be far away from the residential area residential areas means where the people are living like all buildings are there yes these are called residential areas so factories should be far away from the residential areas Plant more trees as they help in cleaning the air. We should plant more and more trees. If we plant more and more trees, automatically our air will get purified and it will get cleaned. Okay, students, I hope you all have understood the lesson. In this lesson, what we have seen, the name of the lesson is air. Yes, in this lesson we have seen air has no color, air has no smell, air has no taste, air fills any space. Okay. Plants and animals need air to stay alive. Plants and animals also need air to stay alive. In this lesson, we have seen keeping air clean. Regular maintenance of vehicles. Factories to be set up away from residential areas and planting more trees. Okay, students, I hope you all have understood this lesson. Now, we are going to evaluate. First is choose the correct word from the box and fill in the blanks. We need dash to breathe. We need air to breathe. Then we cannot dash air. We cannot see air. Then air is present everywhere. Then fourth one is we need air to make a fire. 
Now true or false? Plants need air to live? Yes, plants also need air to live. So it is true. Then second one is smoke makes the air clean? No, it makes the air dirty. So it is false. Now, so see the C1 put a tick for the statements that is are correct and a cross for those are those that are wrong. We have to put a tick or a cross. If the statement is right, we have to put tick. If the statement is wrong, we have to put cross. First one is a candle needs air to burn. Yes, it needs air. Yes. So it is correct. Second one is we can see air. No, we cannot see air. So it is cross. Now see here answer in one or two words. Does the candle continue to burn in figure 2? Figure 2 means this. This is 1 and this is 2. And why? No. It is The answer is no. Okay. When the glass... covers the candle air does not reach the flame okay students now See the next question, answer in a sentence. This question answer I am going to give you in your notebook. I hope you all have understood the lesson. So we are going to meet in the next lecture. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care.